All right, what's up with it, y'all? It's your boy Rock. See what it is. Back with another video, and I figure I'll just give y'all a quick update on uh, how far I'm getting on this Coyote Swap. We moving along. Uh, slowed down a little bit, but you know how that go. Um, so I got the dash out today, so we could finally get these heater hoses hooked up. That's like very important. It seemed like a lot of people overlook uh, changing out the the heater core and the evap. And if y'all didn't know. We are running AC on this. That's why you see we got the, the AC line still on here. We are running AC. So, seeing as since we're running AC, we are going to put in a brand new evaporator core. Fresh. And, of course, we got to run the heater core. And you see right here, got the whole system out. I like to pull it all the way out, wipe it out and everything, clean it up. But the thing about it, this AC it's a little more involved than actually just changing out the heater core. You actually have to cut this thing open. And then when you put it back, you have to, you basically have to plastic weld it back. And I'm not doing that on this video. I'm going to do it on a probably the next video. Maybe I'll try and get it, uh, see if I can get my bipod out here and show that off. But, um, yeah, that's definitely something a lot of people overlook, but yeah, I got a lot of the stuff hooked up. Brake lines, uh, See, tie rods or a bump steer kit. You know, a lot of little stuff. Got the, the the trunk and the battery. The trunk and the battery. The battery and the trunk. My bad, y'all. It's been a long day. See, the dash is all the way out. Lights and stuff. And having a dash out. See, the dash got a... It doesn't have to come out. I was going to say it has to come out. It doesn't have to come out to do your wiring. But to do your wiring clean, at least the way I like to do it. Some people can do it clean without it. But to do it clean, I think the the whole dash has to be pulled out. Oh, also, I got the uh, the fuel system in. You see, I got the fuel pressure regulator right there. Run a dash six up, dash six back with PTFE lines. Um, the same. These are the same lines that I'm going to use for the power steering. I haven't hooked up the hydro boost yet. That's coming up probably a little later this week, probably in a couple of days. But yeah. I wanted to start this car this weekend, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not going to stretch myself too thin and try to rush things. So maybe the following weekend, but we are still moving along. Real quick video. You see, we got the uh, coilovers on this thing. Yeah. But if y'all got any questions, let me know. I just want to make a quick video real quick just to let y'all see the progress and, and let y'all know what's going on. It's been your boy Rocket Chop. Catch y'all in the next video.